Tad by Benji Davis. Tad was a frog. Well, that's not quite true. She was almost a frog. Tad was small, smaller than her Tad brothers and smaller than her Tad sisters. Tad was the smallest, almost a frog in the whole wide pond. She was so small that she had to wiggle her tail twice as fast as any of the others just to keep up. Keep up, they would say, or Big Blub will get you. Tad had never seen Big Blub. Big Blub, they said, was a great big nasty fish. Big Blub swam in the deep, dark, murky part of the pond. He was as old as the mud, they said. He would wait till the sun went in till all the pond was grey. Then he would glide out from the dark patches and... Gulp? No, no, Tad did not want to know. She decided to not believe in Big Blub. But just in case, she kept to the shallow, sunny parts of the pond where Big Blub could not get her. And when the sun went in, she carefully hid behind the rocks and plants in hope that Big Blub would not find her. Day by day, the tadpoles grew. They grew back legs, then front legs. They grew webbed toes. Their legs grew longer. Their legs grew stronger. Stretching their four legs as wide as they could, they felt like they wanted to climb out of the pond. They rushed into the shallow water quicker than you and I can blink. Swish, wiggle, swish. Swish, wiggle, swoosh. Their tails got smaller and smaller until they no longer had tails at all. We've lost our tails! We've lost our tails, they cheered. All except for Tad. Every night, they would find a big leaf and curl up together. But as the nights passed, Tad noticed fewer and fewer tadpoles to curl up with. Ten, nine, eight... Seven, six, five, four, three. Each night, Tad counted her Tad brothers and Tad sisters. Where had they all gone? She didn't like to think. Tad played in the shallows with her last Tad brother and her last Tad sister. You can't catch us, big blub. Her last Tad sister called out into the shadows. Soon, there were just two. It seems there are much fewer of us than before, don't you think? Said Tad to her last Tad brother. And then there was only one. But she was strong and she was clever and she knew all the best hiding places. Big Blub would never catch her. Oh no, Big Blub! Tad swam faster than she had ever swum before. Then Tad did something she had never done before. She swam up and up and up and up. Big Blub sank back to the bottom of the pond where he belonged amongst the mud and the woods, deep, dark and murky. Tad climbed up onto a rock, her big round eyes blinking at the bright sky. It felt good to be out of the water. I've lost my tail. I've lost my tail, she sang. Tad was a frog. She had a funny feeling, a twist in her belly, spreading out to the ends of her toes. She coiled up tight like a spring. And jumped, 